you know, I'm, um, I'm the one that plans everything, so um, I, I love um, when we have the families up here, I like to just sometimes sit back and watch everybody visiting together and, kid and, and kids playing together and it, it just, it, it means the world to me to see all of that. And um, after an event, I am, I, I, I don't think to myself, Phew, that event went off well. I think to myself, man, that was awesome seeing everybody together. You know, in a normal workplace, in a normal work schedule, and, and the pace of everything, things are so chaotic, especially for me that, I mean, honestly, I, I wish I wish I had more of a mindset where I'd stop and say hi and, and ask how the kids are or whatever, but I think that a lot of times we get so busy and wrapped up in things that, that we don't do that. And, you know, for most companies, that's the end of it. Right? So there's, maybe there's a Christmas party once a year or something, but that's really the end of it. When you go home, you go home. <clears throat> so there's the occasional rush in the break room or whatever it may be. But really, you don't know the people you work with. You know them maybe on Facebook and from small talk in the lunchroom, but at other companies, you don't know the people you work with. And, and here you do get time that is created and meant to talk to one another and to get to know each other and to have fun doing things that we don't have to do. And I'll tell you right now that if I am working beside someone that I deeply care about, I will do anything for them. If I'm working next to someone that I know a little bit about, you know, I'm probably more inclined to say, yeah, he can we'll figure it out. He can do it himself, you know? So I think it's huge. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, unseen benefits and positive consequences to the gatherings and, and some, of the, some of the cultural events that we have. To me personally, it's, it's very impactful to, you know, see my son every day um, at work, but um, when the company tries to bring in um, everyone's family for holidays or just to go um, enjoy each other's company um, as an overall group, I think it shows um, to people who don't get to see all of us every day um, how much we actually care about not only your performance here, but your life in general. Like we want you, we want to be friends with you. Um, we want to uh, spend time on the weekends with you, and then we also want to know everyone who's important to you too, um, not just um, what you do between the hours of eight and five. I think with Avis, we try to do a lot of things where we spend a lot of time together as individual, uh, you know, friends on an individual basis, as a group basis, and so forth. Um, and you know, care about one another, care about our, you know, each other's families, treat each other like family. And, um, yeah. When you know that your team is looking out for one another in a family type situation, they're going to tell you when things are hard, they're going to tell you when things are good, but when you have that trust, you can rely on that to make the right decisions. You know, so many times in business people have these false personalities and hidden objectives, and all that does is get in the way of what the purpose of that company is. So the more that you can help each other trust, and you can have hard conversations when needed, and you can feel okay to compliment when someone's doing awesome, and you don't have to feel like that's gonna somehow belittle you, that's when the company starts running on all cylinders, and you can do, you can achieve a common purpose a lot faster.